Okay. Okay. I'm picking up a lot of haptic feedback on this mic. See if I can get this shit set up real quick. Get rid of this feedback loop. Volume goes down a little bit. Okay, mic check. Mic check, mic check. Can everybody hear me all right? Gonna fix the settings before I start everything. Everything looks fine so far, but I guess I can monetize it too. That's pretty cool. Live chat. Allow live chat to replay. The, this displays the original live track conversations between your fans when someone watches your video after. Yes, that's perfect. Tian, what's up? Everything should be saved. Video resolution looks good. I should use I should probably set this stuff up before I start streaming for once. Yikes. Is the audio too loud? Should I turn it down a little bit? What do y'all think? Today is a repair day, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, animals alike. It took five minutes, five minutes to start the stream. Sounds fine to me. All right, so Tian, you will be my guinea pig. So uh, voice ratio to music ratio, how is that seeming for you right now? I think everything's about one minute off. But that's standard. I'll start by cleaning this uh, little room, but I don't think it works, but that's okay. I turn it on and it has this nice little, uh, Random beep here, which I can actually look that up while I'm here. What is this? So I robot Brava three beeps red light. The music is fine, maybe a little quiet. Yes, you're right, it is a little quiet. Let's go to negative four decibels. See if that helps. Uh, uh, sound levels look okay. Maybe. 
Maybe let's bring that down to like seven decibels. Maybe six. Yeah, six is fine. Yeah, six is fine. Live and learn. If your Brava blinks five times, six times, 15 times, or a solid red with three beeps, there's a problem with the application of your cleaning cloth. So I guess the cleaning cloth kind of inserts like this, or like that, or like this, or like that, whatever. Oh, I guess it already knows where your cleaning cloth would be, yeah, right? What is this, uh, Brava 3200? It's got some, some marks here. Yeah, it looks like this, somebody like pried this off or something. Yeesh. Yeah, I'll just push that back in a little bit. It's got a little damage right there, that's all right. Um, looks like I'm not gonna get much resolve from this one. This one should be good to go. I'm gonna look up this error code later. But if you can see, I turn it on. And you get the three beeps. Oh, see that's a new one, that's a new beep. New beep. So that means I have to look at that. What is that, 3200 troubleshooting. Three beeps, yeah, so. I have to buy a, a cleaning cloth to test that, I guess. That's okay. I will set you to the side. Next up, Insanity. Ooh. Y'all remember seeing this? The commercials and shit? P90X, all that, all that stuff alike. Look at this guy, look how fast he's running. He's a fast young man. Young man, he's probably older than I am. So what I'll do is I'll clean this off. I think Insanity sells on eBay for like 15 bucks. Oh, wait, oh, cheap, but I'll fucking take it. Oops. I've been, yeah, I've been streaming for what? Yeah, eight minutes. So, you know, YouTube won't demonetize me for the, for, the cuss words yet. I think it's within the first minute of stream or upload. I don't know. Looks like there's more, no more gunk. I ran out of alcohol in this nice little mist bottle. By the way, these are awesome. This is what hairdressers use to um, spray that water in your hair. Hot Rod Reviews. Hello from Jersey. Well, hello from Texas. It is hot as shit here. What is the temperature there, Mr. Hot Rod? It is. I just looked at my watch to check the temperature. All right, that was smart. No, it's 90 degrees right now outside. Hey, how, uh, what's the temperature outside? I don't know, let me check my watch. It's 4.07. Oh. Can I share the stream? Yeah, yeah that's what I should do. How do I do that? How do I tell other people I'm streaming right now? Can I share it? Yes, I can share it, boys and girls. That's what I'm gonna do right now. Boom, tweeted it. Let's go on Facebook now. Woo! I think I like this more than Twitch. I'm gonna be straight up with you. Streaming live. Guys? Join the fun question <laughs> mark? I think that's funny. You just say join the join the fun question mark because it, it may or may not be fun for you. 89 degrees, Mr. Hot Rod or Mrs. Hot Rod. Um, I uh, I can't. Am I allowed to do that? I don't know. Gonna assume Mr. Hot Rod. Oh, or is it bad to assume? I don't know. Political climate, who knows? Anyways, let's look at these um look at these discs. They look okay. Mr. Mr. Hot Rod. There you go, there you go, there you go. 
hey, I gotta make sure. Nowadays, you say the wrong thing, it'll take you outside and strangle you. Just kidding, all fun jokes aside. What are you doing? What are you doing under my desk? Look, look at this. Look what we got here. We got a visitor. Look at her, she's just beating the shit out of him. She just sits here so calmly. This is Mango. She's such a good girl. Oh, we're gonna sit here? All right. Well, you can sit here while I clean for right now. Oh, I'm not gonna spray you. I'm not gonna spray you. Look at that, she's got PTSD from the water bottle. See, I, I, I never understood why water bottles scare animals. Because it's like, it's just water. Like, w as humans, I think we understand the concept of it just being water. But to them, it's like a machine gun from, you know, Vietnam or something. Ay, ay, ay. All these discs look awesome. Catch stream! Somebody sound the alarms. Ooh, I can put this on Reddit too. Let's see. I gotta log in. What? I thought I was already logged in. Where's my phone? Oh, yay, yeah, yay. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Whatever. Maybe we don't gotta share that to Reddit. Nobody really cares anyway. Anyways, about the uh, the streams. Usually the the videos that do well when I share to Reddit are videos that have already been posted, not live videos per se. Alrighty, all we're doing right now is cleaning. At least for right now. Did I already check his disc? Look at that OCD cracking in here. Do the discs look all right? And by all right, I mean, you see that little mark right here? We got some marks, but these are the oh, good old CD-ROMs, man. This is like, what, 2011? So 2000, so 99 to like 2005, pretty much all the discs were made the same. So they will survive, or they will work. But if you have all this dirt and debris, and then you ship an item, which, these are microfiber. Technically, these still can scratch your discs, so you gotta be careful, but... I'd rather have tiny little uh, hair scratches that don't really do anything than have uh, glue stuck to them from these, because there are glue sometimes inside these. What, baby? Whoa! Why are you yelling? What? Why are you yelling at me? I'll do the dishes. Just don't hurt me, please. Look, like, look at that. What is that? How does that happen? The, no, I'm not talking to you. I'm talking to the, the fine people of you, you boo. Look at that. Has it have, this guy literally took this disc out and he said, oh, shoot. just blew his COVID all over this disc. I'm not going to spray you. It's just the alcohol. Calm down. Wait, let's see. And he got a little bit of alcohol. And then you got that nice little tin swirl. It's gross. Yes, Tian. Yucky. Very gross. I don't know what it is either. You know, it could be like particle uh, junk of bobs stuck in here. Also, let's just talk about these these cases that these come in. So, it probably cost them like 10 cents, right, to make this whole thing, and then they sell this to you for like $7,040. But if you look at how it opens, right, you look at it like this, right? So, 
So, you know, obvious how, how you take the disc out, you just pull it. All right, let's pull it. Guess what it scratches on? The own case. It just comes out being scratched. Look, you have no, unless you like bend it back all the way like this to pull the disc out, you're still rubbing it against this paper. It's just such a flawed design. They probably do that so you can't, um, I don't know, resell them after, uh, who knows. But guess what, I'm gonna do it. Look at this, so this rag right here, this is my, my dirty cleaning rag, and then this is like the disc rag, right? These are the same color. That's how dirty this is. Absolutely disgusting. But it's fun. How is everybody doing today? I see six people are watching right now. What are you six people up to? That's fine. Look, look how fast she's running. Oh wait, that's, my, that's probably a jogging place, but look. You see this camera blur they do? She lo it looks like she's running like Sonic. Naruto, Sonic. She's got the Naruto stance and the Sonic stance going on there. She's so fast. She needs to slow down or she's gonna stub her toe on something. And that's dangerous. Like, it's like every single disc is in a various state of decay. And they're like, look, it's graduate. So when you see scratches like, you see those like, like this one, for example, if you can't touch it with your nail, you're, you're, you're probably gonna be okay. And look, there's no discs on this side. So this is like what intermission, like you just got done with all these discs and you're like, oh, go deeper. Okay, good. I was about to give up, but now it's fine. Wait, is it inverted? Wait, this is inverted. Let me try to calm down, kitty. Well, oh, I'm sorry. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Now it's like, oh! Now it's like you're seeing what I'm seeing. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. What? What do you want from me? Gosh, all right. Jump up here, why don't you? Look at her. Look, she doesn't care what's going on. She just needs to be up here. So, so now I'm gonna I'm gonna one hand clean this and then hold her in my arms like a little baby she is. Hi everybody! I'm a cutie. She is so cute. See, like, and then she still freaks out like I'm gonna shoot her with the um, the spray gun. It's like, see, no fear at all, no fear. But when she hears it, whoo, the sirens start to go off. Wait here, I'll, uh, there we go. Yeah, now she's fine. She's fine. She just needs to some scratches, some head patch. Like, like she ears. Like I put my my thumbs right here in her ears, and I go. Chicka, 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 chicka. And she's like, oh, this is amazing. Michaela, hello. How are you today? How are you this fine evening? Hope everything's well. Hope everybody. If if y'all. Oh oh oh. PTSD. Yep. See that? I didn't even spray her. By the way, I hear that spraying your cats isn't the best idea because it causes like, I guess, more negative habits or traits. But apparently that's only with some cats, not all cats. But see, I, I don't I don't know. I don't know enough information to speak on that. I don't like spraying mango, I really don't. But if I catch her about to dig those little nails in the couch, I try positive reinforcement traits like picking her up and then putting her on her scratch pad as, she, as soon as she's about to do it or when I see it. 
and it's worked a few times, but sometimes I gotta whip out that spray bottle and, you know, gung-ho. Sniper across the room with it, but, you know, it's only like one spray. I still feel terrible doing it though, because I imagine, I, actually, you know what? I would have rather been sprayed in, in the face with a bottle as a kid than been spanked with a belt. But at the same time, would you, or would that be annoying? I don't know. Like, look at this girl, what is she? You think she like, um, when they were putting these things in there, she was like, yeah, use that picture. That's the picture I wanna use. You could literally put like a, um, uh, like a space background and uh, she just got launched out of her shuttle or some shit like that. And this guy, look at him. This guy's gonna kick your ass. <laughs> Eh. These are not bad. Normal scratches, I guess. Ugh. Adhesive. Gotta love all this adhesive. And they used a lot of glue. And they, I don't think they realize that when you send anything through the mail with any kind of adhesive, it's gonna get hot. Especially if this stuff is shipped down south where I'm at. See, and then we got scratches like these. Oof. So these are uh, what I call the crosshatch scratches. And these are the scratches you see commonly when you have things stored in um, uh, cardboard cases. Right here. You see, it's like literally crosshatch, like a drawing crosshatch. That's terrible. And then you get nice little things like these little white dots. I don't know if you can see it right there. And those are, that's adhesive from the damn uh, case. But I'm not taking a lot of time on this. It's just a general cleanup. It's just a, a quick little flip on this right there. I love all your videos so much. They're really entertaining to watch. Keep up the hard work. Michaela, thank you so much. I love making videos, but editing videos, Jesus, man, it takes like the life out of me. I like editing like the first like half or so and then I get insanely bored uh, afterwards and then I start losing some creativity because I'm just like, eh, I've been editing for eight hours straight, I need a break, etc, etc. Next up is Doom 2, conveniently broken jewel case. Can you hear, can you, can anybody hear her just meowing in the background? Like she's, she's. Did somebody say? Come here and get some love. Come here. Come here. Come on, I can, I can hear. Oh, ooh, let me check your food bowl real quick. Maybe that's it. One second, boys and girls. I will be back in 2.7 seconds. got food she got food she got water man she got the hookup I just gave her a little treat maybe that'll hold her over what what is this the cat stream is that is that what you hear me talking to myself and they're like well why aren't you talking to me I thought you loved me dad why don't you talk to me she says I want love now Right now! Look at her! You know what? Maybe we won't clean today. Maybe we'll just scratch my cat for fucking three hours. Thank you. Uh, your edits make me laugh. They are amazing. Thank you. It literally takes forever to do them. So, hopefully somebody likes them. What? What? Are you slowly sliding? <laughs> By the way, um... If you want to see the coolest collar in the world, guys, check this out. Her collar says, 
the almighty mango. And then it has a, uh, a phone number on there that no longer works. So I'm, I'm definitely glad I put that number there on accident. So that's something that I'm going to have to uh, fix. Ooh, you're purring, little girl. Cat cam. Alrighty. So I guess I'm, I'm going to. I'm not. I'm not gonna spray you. I'm not gonna spray. Why would I spray you? I'd be spraying myself. Yeah, she's terrifying. Ta-da! It's broken. Ooh, this one looks pretty good. Damn it. And I see I'm not when there's dust or debris, I'm not rubbing. I'm like dusting, you know, from afar. I'm far. I'm far away when I do it. Yeah, we got eight people in the chat. How's everybody doing today? If you have anything to talk about or anything you want to ask me, let me know. I'm up for any kind of questions, as long as they aren't about my social security number, because I've already I've already been fooled 15 times. Hey, 15 times fool on me, 16 times. That's just mean. Well, I don't have another backup jewel case, which I, that's what I need to invest in some jewel cases. But why buy them when I find them at Goodwill all the time? Next up. Oh, can't show y'all. It has to be like a, uh, like a Pokemon reveal. Okay, uh, one to the front. Lone Ranger. Look at this. Look at this. Beautiful. This game is absolutely marvelous. Does that mean to make that, that accent? Like to joke like that? I don't know. You guys aren't sensitive. You'll be all right. At least I'd hope y'all aren't sensitive. If your arms are. Oh, also, um, don't necessarily do this. You're not supposed to spray any kind of liquid or anything because it gets, like, the liquid will kind of show up on the edges of the label and then you'll get the uh, it'll start to come up over time but this is like really um it's a little bit more expensive than alcohol it's like an ethanol and it dries like that so it's like i put it on my rag it stays wet on the rag a little bit because you know the rag is like a sponge and then i just kind of go that's it that's it and then for this handwriting that you see there I kind of get in there with a, uh, a little, little rough. That's cool. It says a uh, movie movie shop or movie shop or something like that. Which, if that's the name of your movie store, then you probably need to, you know, come up with better better names. Then I take this marvelous. By the way, I hate the way this feels. Ugh, it feels so gross in my hands. Like it's just like. Ugh. Ugh. But then I just kind of. Give a nice little scrub. Um, this is also a sander, what this is. So you don't wanna uh, go crazy on the cart because it'll actually uh, create uneven wear on the cart. Retro Express, what is your favorite place to thrift at? Oh, Goodwill, 100%. Uh, Savers has better prices, um, generally, at least from my experience. Um, but at Goodwill, Goodwill is where I do most of my work. So as you can see, it's like a little duller, but it's still there. And that's mainly because it's permanent marker and it's in the pores. That's why it's darker in some spots. I wonder if this focuses. Can you focus? Yeah, it focuses. See how it gets darker? And it's darker in some spaces because it's just in the pores. And also, I used to buy air dust canisters, which are dope. 
but I have a, a compressor right there. So I usually use that for the, the crazier dusting situations. Let's focus, focus, cool. Um, but mainly I, I have this right here, those bigger ones, which, you know, I think I'm gonna buy a bigger one. Oh, dude, forgot about that. Oh, spit on it? All right. <coughs> and uh, I'm not gonna wipe it off um, just so it can kind of lather on there and I can give it to the next seller, you know what I'm saying? What's up, Josue? What you doing, bro? That's the homie in chat, boys and girls. That's the homie. He's my he's my daughter-in-law. <laughs> What's up, Postway? This bitch is dirty. <laughs> this is a dirty little NES car, let me tell you. And that should be it. It's a good, um, like a good general clean, man. Uh, you don't have to do much. You really don't. As long as just the general stuff is. If this, if these don't work, when you put it in your um, your NES, that what I like to do is, if you look on the back, it says, "Do not clean with benzene, thinner, alcohol, or such other other such solvents." I'm dyslexic. Well, it turns out that was a lie, and that's always been a little lie from Nintendo. And the reason being is because they sold uh kits and cleaners like hey if i can go to the store and store and buy alcohol for a dollar why would i go buy nes's nintendo kit for 14.99 you know what i'm saying it's just like a monopoly kind of situation anyways that one's done nothing much bro just uh streaming i'm gonna be streaming every time that i do repairs now because um it's fun it's it's funner this way and I don't get so insanely bored Second second game uh, up for sale also For clean up for clean Dracula's curse Castlevania 3 actually one of my favorite NES games by the way. This is super mint. Oh Speaking of which I paid $40 for this at a um, CD exchange here in town, which was a stupid deal because this is at like $80 now. So I literally got it half off and it was store credit. So it's like, what bam What do you know? My cat is being so sassy right now. This has been a sassy little girl. We got 10 people in the chat. What's everybody doing? If you're just sitting in chat lurking, that's okay. I like that kind of stuff. You know, you just watch it from afar like a creepy neighbor. But if you got something to say or if you have a question, let me know. Because I'm more than welcome to answer it. Unless, like I said earlier, it's about my social security number. And I'm not going to give it to you. Unless you give me like five or ten bucks. And then I think that's a fair trade. Look at that. Ugh, that's what my ears look like. Just kidding. There are some little spots that you don't have to use the magic eraser on. You can kind of dig in there with these little Q-tips, but you can also scratch them if it gets to the nook. So I try to avoid that. And also, don't forget to clean in these little, this little finger thing. Because I've actually got an eBay complaint about that. Ugh. Lurking while packing. I'm moving tomorrow. Oh yeah, you told me you were moving. Hey, speaking of which, has the moving anxiety gotten any better yet, Tian? Or, or are you still kind of stressing? Are you still stressing? Is this stuff kind of considered ASMR? Somebody was talking to me about that earlier about how this stream is kind of like an ASMR kind of thing, but I don't see how it is because I, the, the 
objective of cleaning things, yes, I can see that's ASMR, but the annoying uh, loud guy in the background talking while cleaning, I don't know. But maybe that's just me. Uh, let's see. Asthma. Actual ASMR kind of freaks me out, actually, now that I think about it. It gives me like like weird vibes, like like people following me in public vibes. Like when you hear somebody going in your ear, it kind of freaks me out. Like that mukbang kind of stuff. It kind of makes me cringe. Still stress, but just packing the last minute things. Hey, that's okay. I'm moving a month in eight days, which doesn't seem like jack diddly shit, but man, that's so right around the corner. Gotta get some alcohol. So this is what I use for the basic stuff. And then if you want to see the Oh, y'all can't even hear me. Whatever, one second. Oh no! I've dropped it! Damn it! So, what I was saying while well, my mic was far away. So, in these bottles, I like to use 70% because the other percentage, I think it's just water? Yeah, so it's 70% isopropyl alcohol. Uh, so, I'm assuming the other 30% is alcohol or maybe like a. Uh, yeah. It should be just water, I'd assume. And then that's actually what I fill inside of these. And then this is the ethyl. This is 95% lab grade alcohol. This is for getting the crazy shit out. Let's see, how do I do that? Yeah. I mean, like, like look at the look at the, the warning labels on it. Like, haha, take a, sw a swig for the vine, right boys? Just kidding, don't do that. This is actually G Fuel. Just putting some G Fuel in here, boys. That should be enough. Looks like you're wa watching a lab right now, right? I'm not gonna say the M word, but I guess we, we know what I'm talking about. And I gotta give it a little pump. Watch this, wait, hold up. Wait when it builds up pressure. You see that? That's a long spray for one one little tippy tap. That's what I like about these little sprayers, man. So cool. But yes, on your NES labels, watch out. You don't want to get them wet. You just want to clean them, that's it. So I'll get a nice little scrub there. And as you can see, it's coming off a little bit, but not too much. That 13, I used to say 13 there, boys. Now, it's about to say nothing. Oh, almost gone. Ooh. And whatever's left, I kind of take... God, this feels so weird in my hands. Then I kind of get a little scrub in there. And remember, these scotch... What are these called? Magic erasers. They are sanders. These are a little, a little Bernie sanders. Look. And it also feels different. I'm not sure if you can see. It's like almost a line right here. It actually sands the plastic down. So you gotta be careful. You gotta make sure you're not going hog wild with it. I've never out loud said hog wild. So, sorry guys, fame changed me. Yeah, saying hog wild now. I think that's as much as I'm comfortable with sanding. Have you been making any sales recently on your eBay account? Yes, I make sales every day um, because it's my it's my uh, it's my full time job. So if I'm not making at least five to ten sales a day, then that means I'm I'm not posting enough stuff that is um, circulating with the algorithm. 
And if you're not doing that, then you are not going to do well on uh, online. Also, um, if anybody wants to talk about that new tax law that's coming out for online resellers, uh, be my guest and join the join the conversation on that because I want to see how everybody feels. If anybody is a reseller in here, the new uh, 600 uh, minimum sales records for reporting to the IRS, which you know I get it. The IRS needs their money, you know, because they're so poor that you know they got to feed their kids, I guess, whatever. But um. But man, six hundred dollar minimum, and then you get a ten ninety nine k. You kidding me? That's a little. That's a little bonkers. All right. Look at that. Look how mint. Ah. I don't. Actually, I don't even remember where I got this. I think I bought. I think I paid thirty dollars for both of these. That's a good price. No, no, no. I paid six. Dollars, and I got I got Dracula's Curse, Mega Man Two, and Monsters in my pocket. So that was a, a sweet little dealio. Oh, jeez. Ah, oh, my back. Man, I got this chair. You know what? Actually, I want to talk about this chair real quick. This chair is the absolute coolest chair that I've ever gotten. I bought it for 99 cents at Goodwill. All right. Chair, re chair reveals, boys. Look at this. Woo! It's a, it's got, well, it's got a scratch right here. And a scratch right here, but it's, it's mesh. You can see through it. See, wait, hold up. I can, look. Ugh, whatever. It weighs like 600 pounds, but watch when I press this lever. It goes to the moon. It goes to the moon, boys. Like, this is, this is how high. This is how high I am. Like, I have to jump on it. And, I'm, and then my, my legs like, kind of hang off. So I'm just like, I'm like kicking my legs like a little boy. I'm like, ha ha ha, I love my new chair. But then, oh, damn. Drop me, Mike. And then I just press this little thing. I mean, every chair has this, but what chair goes this high, right? That's a pretty high chair. <gasps> it's called a high chair. No, it's called a, um, it's a null uh, drafting chair. And apparently they're like $600 or something like that. And I guess some Goodwill employee didn't know that chairs were all the hype on resale. Oh. All right, I'm going to go upside down now. Ah, I'm upside down. Sick. Yeah, see, like, that, that's my OCD kicking in, because I, I just had to do that. Like, that was unnecessary, I guess, but, you know. God, my side hurts. This is the, con this is the complaining stream. Ah, might have to get this one a little wet, if you know what I mean. But, um, soak that label. Also, I can't remember what these are called. I think they're called spudgers. But speaking of which, ooh, these things, they remove adhesive and labels. And they're super handy, because like, look at that, they just push it right off. But this one, this one's seen better days. It looks like I was chewing on it or something. Speaking of which, I need to put one of those in my cart. Because if I don't do that, then I'm going to forget. Uh, let's see. What are they called? Spudger? No, 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 no. These are... Um, Sticker remover. Let's see. Sticker re sticker remover. What? <laughs> no, that's not it. What are they called? Sticker. Oh, that's cool. Look at this. 
plastic razor blades. That's pretty cool. Never seen anything like that before. Sticker remover tool. Yes. Oh, I see what the, it's for a vehicle. The um the spinny boy. Da, 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 da. Maybe I can just Google lens it. God, I've been using Google lens for everything recently. It's just picking up this game in the background. Ah, yes. A Joy-Con. <laughs> I can't wait to use my new Joy-Con on my Switch. Does this look like a Joy-Con to you? I can't remember what this is called. What this called? What this is called. It's driving me insane. Toothbrush. Ah, tampons. Yep, that's what this is. Oh, this is going to drive me nuts. What are these called? Sticker. Let's see. Oh, adhesive remover. Let me try that one. Adhesive removing tool. Oh my gosh, I can't remember what this is called. If anybody remembers what this is called, let me know. Because this is going to drive me nuts. I used to have all kinds of different colors. These have red, blue, whatever. I can't find it. Whatever. You know what? Get back to the stream, Kyle. Jeez. Yeah, I can't remember what it's called. Label peeler? Label peeler? Mm, possibly. I'm going to look it up. Label remover? <gasps> That's it! That's what it is. <laughs> Damn, thank you. Thank you. Oh, and look the three set I can get three plastic red and then whatever this is and then a sticker remover so these are label peelers and then that's a sticker remover Scotty peeler Scotty Pippen good job to you and that was a that was a good clutch moment there look at this I'm watching my stream you want to see some uh wait hold up can we do like an inception kind of thing oh let me turn this on Inception. No, it's not. It can't focus enough to do that. That'd be cool. It'd be like, um, look, I'm replying. I'm going to type something in chat. Yo. Look at that. <gasps> it's chat inception here. I need to stop using my phone on stream. Probably not smart. All right, next up is a Legend of Zelda. A little loose. Let's see what the other one is like. Nope, no wobble. So I'm gonna open up this bad boy and see if there's a broken piece of plastic, and I might have to reset it possibly. And these, these uh, golden cases here, they always got so jacked up. I feel like these were like weaker plastic than the, the gray ones. But I also have a feeling, so you see how it's black on the inside? And then a regular cart is gray, right? But if you scratch this gold paint or, or trim or whatever you call it, it's, it's black underneath. So I'm guessing that all carts are black and they might be dyed or they're just two different uh, plastic fills. But, you know, I don't know. I'm just talking out with me bum bum. Gonna have to possibly reset that plastic.
I'm gonna turn the music up just a little bit. There you go. Negative four was better with volume. Look at that. Absolutely beautiful. This is uh, my childhood right here. Even though I didn't grow up in the era exactly, I still played the shit out of these games. I'm glad I edited the chat to where it shows up um, when the video is posted because when I posted the video last time, which I had to delete because I uh, I, uh, I didn't have the chat in there, so there was no point. Also, I've never opened up a Zelda card before. I feel like I have, but I guess I haven't. Also, look at the, look how intricate this is, right? So a ROM or a PROM, see like, this is called a SN ROM. This camera's absolutely shit, but you know, it does the job. Look at that corrosion. Yikes. I'm glad I opened that up. I'm not sure if that's corrosion or... Huh. Yeah, I'm gonna have to test test this one. Usually I only clean these because that's all you really have to do. By the way, chips, you can soak them in water, soak them in alcohol. You can do whatever you want for them. They're, they're, they're pretty resilient. You just can't use them while they have liquid on them. What music, what song is this? Is this? I hope this is copyright free. <laughs> I did copyright free Spotify. That's all I did. So I'm, my whole life is in Spotify's hands right now on whether this will get monetized or not. Even that doesn't really matter. I only get like 10 cents a video pretty much because my account's so small, but that's okay. Not doing it for money, just doing it for the honey. Where is my pokey boy? I'm not sure what this this kind of like dust is. Also, a lot of people when they see chips and boards, they're like, "Oh my god, it looks so sensitive." They're not. They're not that gentle. They can take a beating. Think about it, this is from 1985, and some kid probably spit inside this goddamn cart and it still works. I'm not sure you can see all that dust. You can't, yeah, you can probably see all that dust. That's a lot of debris that was shoved inside these chips. Yikes. Corrosion. At least I don't think it is. Cleaned out most of it. And there's nothing broken. No plastic particles or anything. Oh. Let's drop the screws. Oops, wrong way. Also, I've seen, I always see the, the damaged uh, hooks right here, which you have to slide like that and then close like this. So it's like a slide, close, slide, close, slide, close. People just try to pull it off and then they break those little clips on the back and then it's like, ay. Which, you know, the screws can hold it in, but that's not the point. That's the whole point of saving money is by using that, those top clips. That way you don't have to use like six screws. Now, back in the day, 
you know, you had the five screw units or one, two, three, four, five. There were screws up here too. Or was it down here? I don't know. Yeah, I think it was up here. And I don't think they had the hooks. But I could be wrong. Also, five screw carts are um, uh, the black label carts, I think. I'm not sure. I can't remember. Can you imagine? Oh my god. Anyway, somebody sold this for two dollars. Man, I would have died and gone to heaven if I found this for two bucks. I mean, it's not really worth much, but worth more than two dollars. On to the next. We got Zelda 2 Adventures of Link. By the way, Zelda is the princess. All right, Link is the boy. The boy you play as. Link is the swordy boy. The boy with the sword. The sword boy. The man of swordy. Girl, what are you doing? Hey. She's a cardboard chewer, man. She sees cardboard, she eats it. Now I've already cleaned the chip, but I'm just going for a second little clean here. See that? Like that's a that's a a lot of black and dirt that I missed the first go around. Alrighty, that's it. That's it for cleaning games. Now we might have to start going into fixing, possibly. Pew. Uh, TI-83 plus? Yes, good guess. Uh, so usually if these don't work, it's um, just the contacts that are in here, in this little hole that I stuck in right here. In this hole and that hole. Which there's no corrosion, so there's no reason to believe it. And also, you can see, you can kind of see. Oh, you see those contacts? Yeah, you can see them. These gold little contacts right here that my camera refuses to zoom into. Joshua Torres says, hey, what's up, man? How you doing today? Hope you're having a great day. Welcome to the stream, my friend. Gosh, I'm hungry as hell. I should have ate before the stream. I'll be real with you. This might be a mukbang stream. Who knows, boys and girls. So we got, oh, we got double A batteries. Let me get some triple A batteries over here. Pajah! Thank you, Joshua. Thank you for liking my video. That's awesome of you. Keep up the support. That is what keeps me going. If nobody supported me, uh, I mean, I'd probably still do it, but I, I wouldn't like it as much as I do because I have guys like you, people like you, that come in here and support. Favorite size of battery? Never had that question before, but I want to see the AA. The AA is just tried and true, man. It is tried and true. It is universal, still used today. Kind of like D batteries. D and C batteries are pretty much a thing of the past at this point because it's just a, a, a waste of nickel, cadmium, and zinc chloride. It is a major waste. Um, and hey, what would be a runner up? Definitely not triple A's. I think triple A's are a waste because triple A's are 1.5 volts, which is the same exact voltage of a double A. So, you know, what the hell? But I get it because if you put four double A's in this, the form factor would be different. You're looking at bigger, bulky, bulky things. Or you could use button cells. But there's already a button cell in here, and that saves uh, basic memory. But let's see. Does it work the first time? And it does. 
Look at that. See, these are the, these are the, the the easy ones, the ones that make the day go by faster. I like your bins video. Shit, me too, man. Me too. Unfortunately, I can't really record those anymore. I'll try to when once I run out of videos. Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to sneak in a, a bin video if they'll let me. But most of the time, the rules strictly say no recording, and those people are really good about catching people recording even the customers though customers will report you so i'm like come on why are you why are you stepping on my style but they probably don't want to be recorded um because this that and the other you know their own personal reasons but i'm not recording people i'm just recording the bins so yeah people have a problem with it they just don't want to see a dude be successful be successful all right i gotta go put my inventory up I like to hook my, my mic on random things when I leave. Let's do this battery. I'm gonna grab a snack real quick. Strawberry and mixed berry. Ooh. By the way, these are like super plain little cereal bars, but man, they're so good. I don't know why, but I like these the best. They're the cheapest, but they're the tastiest. And this will hold me over. I'm gonna cook dinner tonight, so. Oh my gosh. Ooh. Oh, I'm so hungry. Mm -mm. Next up is a Canon Mystery. Any Karen stories? Yeesh. Yeah, plenty of those. Uh, I gotta think of one though. But I def. Oh! 10 second roll. Mmm. Mmm, mmm. I apologize if you can hear me chewing. I don't know if you can hear it or not, but man, if I didn't eat that, I was gonna pass out and die on stream. And as funny as that might have been, I wanna avoid it. This is a Canon Sure Shot, and the original Canon Sure Shot. The only thing about this one is, the latch is broken. So I may open this one up and try to fix the latch, but when you post stuff this on like this on eBay, uh, people buy it up a lot faster because they're like, oh, it's such a simple fix. And then they buy it and they fix it. And, you know, but Karen stories. Yikes, where do I start? I mean, I've had a lady um, bump into my basket and blame it on me and then go report the man report me to the management. And the management came over to me and be like, well, that bitch was crazy. So and I was like, yeah, how'd you guess? And then I've had plenty of people. Oh, look at double A battery. Look at that. And uh, some people will bump into you at the bins and then. Oh! What was this? Ah! See that? Self winding, I think. Or something. I'm not sure. So flash on. Ooh! How is your day going? Well, my day's going good, actually. Um, I just got done taking 700 million things to the post office today, so it was, it was a good day, you know? I'm, I'm blessed to have a successful uh, uh, sale night, but um, man, it was a lot of work. I mean, it's, it's uh, 96 degrees right here in Texas, so it was, it was rough. How's your day going today, Joshua? 
Let's see. Yeah, everything appears to be working. Hop up in the club, turn my flash on. Something, something, something. What's up? Hmm. I'm glad you had a good day, Joshua. Because on hot days like this, if you're having a bad day, it only gets worse. Due to the heat. Jeez, this thing is it's like immaculate, but the but the the lock don't lock. So let's try to the cameras I really don't take apart. Unless they're the old, old uh, 35 millimeter, which this is a 35 millimeter camera, but the but the old like Canon A1 and like programs and uh, the old Fujis, because I know how to take those apart. With these, I'm a little bit more skeptical because uh, they have a lot more, um, not moving pieces per se, but just more sensitive parts because they're all plastic, man. I like the toy videos you do. Thank you, man. I um, I love showing them. They're super fun. I love showing people the toys and shit that I find. It's surprising how many toy collectors are actually out there. I mean, shoot, we got 60, 70 year old men that are still rocking and rolling with the toys that they had as a kid. And honestly, I wish I never would have sold most of my toys, but you know, what can you do? Internal battery. Oh no, that's not a battery. That's a resistor. Looks like holy cow. All right, let's look at this. It doesn't even go up that high. It just it just drops. Yikes. How do I get that to lock? It doesn't look like it. Uh, Looks like this lock it needs to be pushed down. Nope, that's not it. Because what's gonna ha what should happen is this little mechanism stays up, and then this closes, and these little things push, and then the spring brings it back. Oh, spring! I see. I should have known. Alas, I have been a fool. There's a spring that probably disconnected somewhere. And the video game videos too. Yeah, thank you, man. I appreciate that. I really do. I need uh, I need more uh, more people to watch my videos. So uh, so Goodwill will hopefully stop stop playing with the whole. Um, no recording situations. I guess that stays as is. What keeps it down though? Probably this. Yeah, that's what that is. Alright, I might go silent every now and then. I'm in concentrate mode. Camera looks like it works good. I gotta figure out if the flash is working though. Aha! I found the culprit. Oh, actually no. It is worse than we thought, boys. It is broken. Ah. <sighs> A little black piece. Yep. That is the tension where the spring would attach to right here. It's like a little, little arm. 
I can try to glue it, but super glue won't work very well. Um, so I'm gonna try to melt it, possibly. Um, pliers. Yeah, that sucks. But that is expected in in things you find in the trash. I need a spreader. Spread them. Okay. I just shot it off somewhere. Here it is. Maybe it's tiny little pieces. This is why I don't open up plastic cameras. They are just so flimsy. Yikes. And this is what I'm dealing with. This. Nice little mechanism right here. And it's gone. But I'm going to try to put this, this piece on that piece, you know? A little bit of boop. What can I fucking say? So I'm going to try to super glue it first, which I know that it will not hold the spring tension. And if it does, it will only hold it for like two seconds. But while it's glued, I can try to like burn it. Like plastic melt, plastic weld. But like super janky way to do it. Oh shoot, my dad's calling. Yikes. Cannot answer. I am in surgery mode. That's it. Looks like. Thank you for the words of encouragement, Joshua. I'm gonna need it. Yeah, it's already. It already dried. And once super glue dries, putting super glue on top of super glue doesn't really work as well as you'd imagine. Gosh. I got such big ass hands. So it's on there, this little tip. I got the tip on there, but that doesn't mean anything. It just means it's, it just means it's there. It doesn't mean it's actually gonna hold any tension and it's kind of crooked, so. So what I'll do is now I'll glue more around it and then I'll try to, I'll try to uh, burn it a little bit and melt it, but the thing about it is, is we got a double whammy. Because once I do this, then there's a high possibility that, well, I mean, there's 100% possibility that the super glue will heat and then it is an, a, a major eye irritant. that dry for like two seconds while I figure out my next move. Hmm. Got an offer on a on an eBay item. Let's see. Look, they only uh, ask for a dollar best off offer. And I'm gonna take that because that's a good deal. I like to give good deals on my eBay page, guys. Because if you don't, you're just gonna hold on to everything for 100 years and that's not the goal. The goal is to sell 
and to get rid of as much inventory as you can because you don't want to hold on to everything forever but i think my limit is about a month ish huge vintage mini oh look at that they paid two great Alrighty, this is my lighter i had 25 lighters on my dresser yes sir but they're gone once i gotta get another, i gotta get another oh what do you know the one thing that's been framed this whole time a lighter and next unboxing is going to be this uh, mixed berry bar. Oh my god. These are so good. Mmm. Cheers. Mmm, mmm, mmm. I got a big mouth, so I can eat this thing in like two bites. Mmm, 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 mmm. Damn, this shit's good. So what I'll do is I'll heat this up. So it's red hot. And then I'll heat it up again. The purpose of doing this is that it'll melt the plastic. Yeah, it's really hot. And I'm gonna keep doing that till it's galvanized almost. Now quickly. And you can't really see it, but, oh, maybe you can. I need to, um, oh, I wonder if I can, oh my gosh, guys, hold up. I think I can use my microscope cam. I wonder if I can do that. Jeez, hold up. I'm going to try to plug this boy in. That would be so cool if you guys can see the microscope cam. All right, so this is a microscope right here. Digital microscope. And let's see. It is plugged in, so it should register something. Webcam splitter, here we go. We got something. Oh, boys and girls. <laughs> ah. We have microscope cam. Look at that. A little laggy. That's all right. I gotta see. All right, so it's reversed. Let's transform this, flip that vertically, all right, so it's a little laggy. Now let's zoom in here. It's a bit laggy, isn't it? Let's do like a, a 40 times zoom, not like a thousand times zoom, because I think that's a little nuts. Yeah, a thousand times view is a little a little silly. See, that's, that's not bad. It's a lot less laggy too. Ah, there you go. That's dope. And then that's what it, it looks like. It's like, um, 
See how it's melted now? I'm like welding it together. That is the point. Allegedly. So let's see if I can shrink this microscope cam. Yeah, I can. Alright, yeah, so I'll move the microscope cam over here. Let's see if I can keep anything in its view. Yeah, focus is okay though. But yeah, look at that. Very interesting. I'm trying to figure out how this is. Oh. So the camera is flipped a little bit. So I need to flip it one time. Flip horizontally. And that's it. That is a lot. Well, maybe I should. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine right there. That's cool. I never thought about microscope cam. So I just leave it open there. Y'all, I mean, y'all tell me if that square bothers you. If it does, you know, whatever. But like, look. You can see that. Wait, hold up. You know, just, <clears throat> look at some crazy sh shit. Look at my nails. Ugh, gross. This is the tip of a battery. Ooh, look at that nipple. Nice. Anyways, all joking aside. What? 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 She just wants to be pet. Let's try to, it's going to smell like burnt plastic, like crazy in here. Get that tip red hot and then Nice. I don't know if you saw that little sizzle there. I wonder if I can just move it like out of frame. Now let's see. What is with the lag? Yeah, so it's, it's just too close. There you go. Yeah, so it's like... Um, it's a little, a little bent, but I mean, it works. Now I just got to, um, it doesn't focus really well, but I mean, it's, it's a live stream, so I don't really expect a microscope to, um, particularly work well. I, gotta, I should focus it on something. Let's see. Where is it? So this is the spot right here. I should put like a little smiley face. Should write a little smiley face right here. Let's, where is it at? Right here. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Hold up. Can you see that? Uh, kind of. It's not really focused, but whatever. Thank you, Joshua. Appreciate the support, man. Now, quickly, I will burn this side. And if you can see, like, I can, I can tug on that pretty well now. That's some pretty strong tension. Now, 
now I'm going to do one more for good measures. Just imagine dropping this red hot needle onto your skin. Just like, pfft. oops, accidentally dropped it. Whoopsie daisy. That would suck. I mean, obviously though, right? All right. So now I've burnt it and then added security. Let's try some more super glue. This copyright music is actually pretty, pretty cool. Shit goes hard. I'm gonna let that dry for like four seconds. Um, I have another camera. Oh wait, I wonder if that camera's on the way right now. I bought a secondary camera that we could have a face cam, like a chat cam, which is like totally lame, but still cool. Delivered win. It says it was delivered June 10th. It uh, was not. Whoa. Hmm. It says it was delivered in my mailbox. Yeah, chat cam. Uh, Tian was it was a good. A, a good little, um, good little feature I'd like to add, you know, because I got microscope cam, bloop, bloop. and then my chat cam would go like, like here, beep, beep. like whenever I'm not using the microscope. I'm just gonna show y'all one last little dealio with this, and I'm gonna shut it off. Or right, shut the microscope cam off. I mean, there's no need to have it on consistently, but it is what it is. Man, this thing says it was delivered, and it was not delivered. Well, actually guys, I think I'm going to have to... I want to go check my mailbox real quick. Yep. Because it says delivered, but it definitely hasn't been. Don't check your mailbox. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> Why? Hostwe, do you, do you know something that I don't know? Like, do you... You, uh... You don't got a bomb in there, do you? You don't got a... A weapon? Send me... Hey, Mango! Mango, can you go get my mail? She told me to go screw myself, but you know. What can I do? It's a child. A disobedient child. Just kidding. She's super awesome. Man. I think I might've had a misdelivered package, boys and girls. That is stinky. Stinky. Anyways, this this ish is probably dried, and if not, whatever, but look at that. Now, let me do a little background to it. Yeah, see like if I have it like this, it doesn't focus right, but with this little skin background, it's uh 
Yeah. Oh, wait, wait, wait. There we go. See a little hook? It's like mangled, but hey, it should do the job. So, microscope cam is over. How do I, uh, hide in transition? Cut. Oh, I don't have a hide. I'm just gonna do the old unplug arena. <gasps> I unplugged the wrong device. I am but a fool. Shwoop. Wait. Oh no. I unplugged my camera. Did not. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. No. <laughs> I've made a fatal mistake. How do I resume? Why? Maybe I can do a transition? And then, no. Look, look, uh, I, my transition is is fine. No, wait, no, the transition's stuck too. Oh, God. Maybe I can... Oh, that's annoying. All right, stream is over for... Eh, like 20 minutes, but I'll be back on.